Hello everyone, welcome to my history on one of the staple holidays celebrated in over 100 countries, Father's Day. It celebrates the person who ruins karaoke's and embarrasses you at parties. Fathers, where did this holiday come from? Who created it and why? All of these questions will be answered in my history of Father's Day. Enjoy. The origins of Father's Day aren't as happy as other holidays like Christmas. Father's Day's absolute oldest origins are very hard to determine and pinpoint, but I would put that start about in the beginning of the English monarchy in 1066. Why this and in 1066? Since William the Conqueror, who was originally a duke in Normandy, became king of England this year, some traditions would begin with his ascension to the monarchy. This important one for the video is called male primogeniture. Male primogeniture is a rule that states that the firstborn male will become king or some other ruler before woman. This led to, of course, misogyny and sentiment that will lead to Father's Day a bit later. Over the next millennium and a few centuries, what would become Father's Day would evolve. The only ways that changed were people really wanted a single day dedicated to their fathers, and yeah, that's about it. Now, the last ingredient we need to create a Father's Day is something you may know as Murica. On June 19th in 1910, the day I made this video, a woman out of Spokane, Washington, YMCA. named Sonora Dodd, wanted a day to commemorate her relationship with her father, William Smart Dodd. And so, she came up with a proposed holiday of Father's Day. Later, a bill which she helped make to make Father's Day a federal holiday traveled to the land of overpriced cheeseburgers, Washington, D.C. In 1916, the then-president, Woodrow Wilson, went to Spokane to give his support to the holiday. But Congress thought the U.S. would make it commercialized and didn't do anything. In 1924, Calvin Coolidge wanted it to be a holiday, but once again, it didn't happen. In 1966, Lyndon B. Johnson made a proclamation to make the third Sunday of June a day to commemorate your fathers. Guess what? It didn't become a holiday. And so, finally, in 1972, Richard Nixon officially signed a bill making Father's Day a federal holiday, which brings us to the present. And with that, that was my astonishingly long history of Father's Day. Was it even a minute? I just wrote that in my script not knowing how long it would be. Anyways, my next video will be a history on the Korean War. It's like the last major war I haven't done a history of. It will come out on June 25th. Thanks for watching and happy Father's Day. Thanks.